Hello and welcome to this video on binary addition. Binary addition is just the same as adding numbers in decimal, except instead of numbers zero through to nine, I'm adding ones and zeros. And so what I'm gonna do is use the column method to add my ones and zeros. So I need to remember these following rules to be able to do that. Zero plus zero is zero, so nothing and nothing is always gonna be nothing. Zero plus one is one. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, so that's saying 1 plus 1 is 2, 1, 0 in decimal is 2. Now what will happen here, we'll look at in a minute, when we have the column, we'll place the 0 under the addition and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So here's an example using 4 bits. So I'm adding up the number 2 to the number 5, and I should come out with the number 7. And what I've done, if you look in the top right hand corner, I've placed my rules, I've written out my rules, so I remember what I'm doing as I'm doing my addition here. So just simply add up the columns. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 0 plus 0 is 0. So now, I can work out 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And I know that 2 plus 5 is 7. So that's an example there. What about a bigger number, an 8-bit number, up to 128 here? Now I'm going to add up 178 plus 65. And if you've got a question like this to do, I wouldn't necessarily work out what the decimal is if you trust your addition using binary. What I would do though is make sure you do write out the rules. You need to memorize and write out the rules to be able to do any question like this. So simply add the columns up. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, and now, remember, I'm going to carry the 1. Where you place that carry is up to you. I've just placed that on top of the division there. You could, replace, you could place it up at the top of the calculation. That is up to you. So now I need to do, this is now in, in position 64, that is 0 plus 1 which is one. Now, this last column, one plus one. Now looking at the rules, one plus one is one zero. So you can see a little bit of an issue here. I've gone into the ninth bit, and this is what's called an overflow, which we'll talk about in a moment. So 178 plus 165 is 343, which I've got there. 256 plus 64 plus 16 plus four plus two plus one is 343. So that has gone beyond 255, which is a maximum amount, maximum number I can have in eight bits. So now I've got an overflow. Going into the ninth bit is giving me an overflow here. And what is an overflow? So this is what this is here. And it just means that I've gone beyond eight bits. Or if it was a 16 bit edition, I've gone beyond 16 bit into the 17th bit, for example. Overflows in a question like this are relatively simple but they have caused many problems. Overflow errors have led to many real life disasters, the most famous of which was a crash of the Ariane 5 space rocket, which exploded 40 seconds after its launch in 1996. And then others include the Patriot Defense Missile System in 1991. So an overflow in our exam is, is not a big issue. We need to just be able to explain what that is. It's gone into the ninth bit. But in real life situations, it can cause many, many problems. So that is how you do binary addition. Simply remember these rules. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. One is one zero. And one plus one plus one is one one. If you can remember in a question, nothing plus one is one. One plus nothing is one. One plus one is two. What is two in binary? It's one zero. One plus one plus one is three. What is three in binary? It's one one. And that is how you do binary addition. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.